So this evening, I have uh, chosen a topic called Dream Big. The scripture is taken from the book of Luke chapter 11, 11 verses 9 and 10. So as we move forward, dreaming big for the Lord, let us also think, how really should we dream big in this year? Let me just begin with the word love. Love, when we try to give the definition of love, many people bring out different definition for love. But I'm just going to share my personal definition for love. That is, love is seeking highest good for others. And there is joy in seeking good for others which means loving others and your joy can be full when you love as the Lord loves you also joy can be found when we dig a little deeper into ourselves that's why the word of God tells us in the book of Gospel John chapter 15 verse 11 these things I have spoken unto you that my joy might remain in you and that joy might be full this is the Word of God you will find your joy by actually going deeper into yourself not into others Finding ourselves a little bit deeper will expound the joy in our life. The most important thing you can do today is making your time, making your talents, making your skills, making your happiness, making your habits and making your goodness and your precious time most importantly available to others who would be needing your help. This is something you can live out in a truly stunning manner because people around you are just trying to get something they need and they need to be heard. That's what they need and that is your comfort. And that's how you can dream bigger. And that's how you fulfill and that's how your joy multiplies in your day-to-day -day life. So, if you do this, and if you start to dream big for the Lord, you will surely fulfill what the Lord has promised. Let us also remember from the book of Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 3. Ask and he will answer. In the B part, not only answering, but he is ready to bless us, to be great and mighty one. This is his promise. Not only answering what we pray for, what we ask for, but he has already promised that he will make us great and mighty, which means the rest of the world will respect you, will count on you in everything. That's what the promise of God. Believing in this promise, we fail for so many times. Why? This is something happening within us that we didn't dig into ourselves deeper. We don't know and we didn't dream big. We just dream in our own capacity, not relying on the Lord. That's the problem. So this year, I wish and I pray that all of our church members will start dream big for the Lord, doing something great, relying on the promise that whoever acts will be given, whoever sick will be found, and relying again from the book of Jeremiah 33, let us look forward dreaming big for the Lord, focus on helping people rediscover their hopes and dreams also offers a power powerful reminder about our ability to change who we are 
we don't need to be the old version of us the last year's version of us but we need to be the new person new you and me so that we can do something dream big and never let your labor go in vain I have a very common illustration we all know about Asampel in English we might call Supandi but in our Jema dialect we call Asampel he after investing so many wages making a huge basket the bow a huge basket investing so many wages and on his way to home he happened to cross a flood water while crossing his basket was taken away by the flood water there in no option in his anger he just threw his peers to a sample of about the area near here I lay in our daily he spent so many of his wages energy skills talents in it while making the basket but unfortunately that was taken by the flood and the tools that he had as a man his spear was also thrown into it in anger that was the life of asambe the supandi so my dear friends that hurt earn money you gain from 30 days wages in a month so not only go for your drinking wine eating or fulfilling your desires but that should also go into a very meaningful one this is never a loss for others but if you invest in invalid things then this will be a loss for you and for your health so let us not we have let us not live like a sandbird throwing his spears as well well his basket was unfortunately taken and let us dream big and be real not as the actor here another story another part of the asampe story he went along with his friend for catching frog well catching frogs people just pick up the frog and just cross the head of the frog and put it inside their bag he was not knowing that people were crossing the head of the frog so that it would not run away again so he just smell and put it inside his bag he smell the frog and put it in his bag smell put smell put it finally he came home and found just only one frog the weakest frog he took it out and it started jumping and finally it jumps on the leg of his wife in fear that even this final leg frog run away he just took a big piece of wood and just hit it in the leg of his wife and his wife's legs broken again that was how a sampe supandi is living his life so loss after lost was his life so my dear friends do whatever but with a clear idea and purpose of doing it or working on it without knowing what people are doing don't just be the person who imitated others don't just stay here in delhi because your friends are staying don't just be a college student because your student your friends are studying in college don't just be the one who works part time because your friends are all working over here because you don't want to take the name that you are in the village no don't just be the person don't just imitate others in your studies in your earning in your family life in your day to day life 
engage with it with a purpose and with clear conscience and conscience of what you are doing. Live this present life, this present year with a big dream and live the real life, not imitating others. We have been walking, we have been laboring for so many years. Our parents have been laboring for so many years. They spend so much of their energy for the whole year. But if that energies, if that wages that they have spent is converted or they have spent is on some value like farming, then they would have been so rich by now. But the investment we have today and the dream that we have today is too small. And we are still imitating others in everything we do. So my dear friends, let us not continue as the person who just throw away in anger and just wasting our day-to-day -day earning in drinkings and in eatings. But let us invest in the, in the most valuable things of our life. Let us do something great for the Lord. And also let us work really, let us attend church as a believer let us not just be an imitator of other believers let us be real and let us live this life a real life and you will test the real test of life and you will enjoy the real joy of this life if you dream big and move forward with a purpose with a clear conscience so my dear friends this life is not just to imitate others this life is not just to live for our own, but let us expound living for others, giving our times, giving our skills, sharing with one another, uplifting one another, and let us be the real person, not the actor anymore. So that the big dream that we have in the Lord will surely fulfill in this life. May the Lord bless you all. And have a very, very good day as well as the very successful dreaming year for the Lord and in your career. God bless you and have a very good time.